fancy meeting you here. This is our typical opening to my what I eat in a days. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I won't film in the car, but you guys always comment and say that you actually like me being in the dark, filming in the car on my way to boot camp. So that is exactly what I am doing. It is currently 4.56 a.m. I'm a little later than usual. I still have four minutes before it starts and I'm maybe two minutes away, but I am on my way to boot camp. It is Wednesday that I'm filming this video. I, this is my last boot camp session before I head to Hawaii. So I'm actually pre-filming this, what I eat in a day. You guys will see this. When you guys see this, I am in Hawaii. I actually flew to Hawaii this last Friday and then I fly home tomorrow. The day you're seeing this Wednesday, I fly home on that Thursday. I'm sure I'm having an amazing time. I am very, very excited to go. Like I said, make sure you follow me over on Instagram and you're in my Facebook group because I will be posting pictures and things of my trip there. I'm not vlogging my trip. I prefer to just be in the moment and my friends don't always want to be on camera. I mean, they're usually pretty good about pictures and things, but they don't necessarily want to be in a vlog. So I don't vlog it, but I do post a lot on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm really focusing on getting videos edited and uploaded and description boxes filled out so that you guys have content while I'm gone. I'm also going to be figuring out what I'm going to be packing snack wise and food wise to go to Hawaii. So I want to share that with you guys, kind of how I navigate the snacks and food that I bring when I travel so that it helps me stay on track. I'm going to be doing a little bit of organization in my office on my makeup vanity and then of course laundry and just getting things ready for my trip. So I'm very, very excited. I'm excited to take you guys along with me today. I also drank a little bit of my protein coffee this morning. I have to have coffee before boot camp or listen, I'm not functioning. I don't have the energy to work out. So I did have some of my protein coffee. I'll finish that up while I get ready for the day and I will see you guys as usual at breakfast. Well, good morning. I promised that you would see me at breakfast and this is technically at breakfast. I am in the car on my way to do my weekly grocery shopping. Troy is going to do a few things with his dad today. So I wanted to hurry up and get to the grocery store and get home before he leaves. I am focused on getting him food mainly this week for while I'm in Hawaii. And then of course, having some things that are on hand and healthy for when I return. I'm pretty good on what I need to bring to Hawaii, but I may pick up a few other things. So because I'm on the go this morning and because I didn't have time to actually make breakfast before I needed to head out to the grocery store. Again, I want to get home before Troy leaves for the day. I'm also bringing a few things home for him to take with him today that I'm having breakfast on the go. And for me, that's going to be a protein bar. Now, is a protein bar a solid breakfast? Not really. However, I did have a protein coffee this morning. So between the protein coffee and the protein bar, I feel like that's a pretty solid breakfast. And sometimes, listen, life happens and we have to eat breakfast on the go. And today is one of those days. So I'm having my Fulfill Chocolate Salted Caramel bar. It is 150 calories, 15 grams of protein. And then of course I had my protein coffee, which gave me another 30 grams of protein. Now I am going to be bulking up snacks and lunch today because like I said, this really truly isn't enough food for breakfast, but sometimes we just got to do what we got to do. So fulfill bar for breakfast. Let's get some grocery shopping in and get home. morning snack time and like I like I mentioned in the car I just had the protein bar for breakfast so I'm actually getting pretty hungry it's been about an almost two hours since I ate breakfast so I need to up the protein I need to up the protein and have a little bit bigger more balanced snack so I'm going to do half of a cup of good culture cottage cheese 
my favorite cottage cheese. And then I have some raspberries that I need to eat up before I head out of town. So I'm going to weigh those out. I'll use up the rest of these raspberries. And then I think for a crunch, I'm going to do half a serving of the Panuff Crunch Peanut Butter Puffs. I shared these in last Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. These are so good. I love them. And I usually have half of a serving, which is half of an ounce or about 14-ish pieces. That's only 65 calories and you're gonna get three grams of protein. So it's a nice crunchy treat. They remind me of the Trader Joe's Bombas, but these ones actually have protein in them and I think they're better. So let me put together my snack. So here's my snack. I have half of a serving of my little peanut butter puffs. I really love these. I forgot to mention these are made from navy beans, rice, and peanuts. So a nice clean snack and then my half of a cup of cottage cheese and I had 70 grams of raspberries. So I'm in my office and I mentioned earlier that I wanted to do a little organizing of my vanity. So what I had previously with my makeup vanity, which is this right over here, is I had this pencil type of holder where I put all my bottles, like my foundation, my setting spray, my toner, my primer, all of that in the little container. And it just was a little bit cumbersome to get them in there. And then if I use something that wasn't a bottle, it was hard to organize it and keep it in that space and keep my vanity nice and organized. You guys know I love makeup, I love skincare, I have a lot of it. So I decided to organize my vanity just a little bit better. And I knew, and so I bought this three piece stackable drawer set from the brand Synthes right off of Amazon. It's a stackable makeup drawer set. They're acrylic, you can actually use them in any room in your house. I love it for my vanity. You can put it under your sink, use it for skincare in your kitchen, your pantry. It is three separate drawers that are fully stackable. You can stack all three together, stack two of them together, or put them all singly. They're actually made from acrylic. They are scratch proof and shatter proof. The molded handles slide in and out really easy. The drawer actually fully comes out and there's two built-in side rails inside the drawer which keeps it stable when you stack it. Even when you pull the drawers out, it doesn't move. You can again use them anywhere in your home, but I decided that they would be best served in my vanity. So I have the two sitting on my vanity, the top, and then I have the one that I wanted to use for small eyeshadow palettes since I'm out of room. And my other little drawer set for eyeshadow palettes. This is one of the highest quality acrylic drawer sets for really the most affordable price. Synthes is such a great brand. They have some really amazing products. And again, you can pick the drawer set up right off of Amazon. I will link it down below for you. I am going to make up a coffee. I have a coaching call and I feel like I need a pick-me-up of coffee during that call. All right, so we've got coffee. So you saw that I did the pumpkin. Ugh, can't get my straw in there. I did the pumpkin AF. Let me actually show you the coffee. So this is my cold brew, Draga Pumpkin AF. I talk about this a lot. This is the only cold brew brand, cold brew, cold brew for Halloween, cold brew, brew brand. That's a tongue twister that I can even stand. So this is what I use and then I make it in my little glass pitcher off of Amazon. I'll link these down below for you. I actually have a discount for 10% off Drag Up. And then I did some cold foam just using heavy whipping cream, sugar-free syrup, topped it with some pumpkin pie spice. And then I used my Cliffia Farms creamer. And this is so good, so low calorie, so decadent. And the cold foam on top, I feel like because it's heavy whipping cream and there's some fat in there, it keeps me full. So I really like having that is an inclusion in my coffee. It's all the pumpkin goodness that's made at home, way less money. So I highly recommend Drag Up, highly recommend the glass pitcher off of Amazon. So I'm gonna work on my second coffee of the day during my few coaching calls this morning and I'll see you guys back for lunch. Are you ready for special bone? <gasps> special bones, come on. 
It's time for a special bone. They've been good dogs all morning. Right now we've got the uh, Smart Bones made with real chicken. I buy these off of Amazon. I think they're the most affordable. I'll link them down below for you. Oh yeah, somebody came for their special bone. There you go, buddy. Here you go, honey bunny. Good job, Lola. All right, so I just warmed up my lunch for the day. My bowl's really hot. Hang on, let me get a towel. I can't even lift up the bowl because it's so hot. But I just warmed up my lunch. It is the pumpkin pasta that I made in my meal prep. So if you miss my meal prep, you guys, this is incredible. It has walnuts in it, it has pumpkin, which is part of the sauce. It has spinach, ground turkey. It's amazing, high protein, lots of veggies. I used a protein pasta. It is absolutely delish. So I'll link my meal prep down below if you guys missed it. This was last week's meal prep. And since I won't have a meal prep this week, that'll be a good recipe for you guys to try out. So this is going to be my lunch for today. So I'm going to head into the kitchen to pack up my snacks for my trip to Hawaii. And I wanted to show you this little set that I bought off of Amazon. These are packing cubes. These were so cheap. I wanna say the whole set was like $10 and there are so many different sizes. I've actually never used packing cubes. This is going to be my first experience with them, but I usually overpack and I bring a lot of stuff. So I think this is going to be really helpful, but there are just a ton of different sizes. Some of them have mesh backs. Some of them are more solid. There's literally, I think, just 10 different bags, including makeup bags and then a big shoe bag. And I think what I'm going to do is utilize one of these bags for packing my snacks. I This one, I was thinking about this one because it's a drawstring. And then I was also thinking, let's see. I wanna keep the bigger packing cubes for clothes. So let me see what I have that are kind of odd shaped. So there's four kind of odd shaped ones. So there's the drawstring bag. We have this one, which actually zips down the front. I feel like this is more of a shoe bag, so I might keep that. We've got the makeup bag and then another smaller makeup bag. These are probably too small for snacks. I'm thinking I'm gonna utilize the drawstring and then also the zip top because I can put bars and things in here and then some of my bigger snacks in here. So let's go into the kitchen and let me show you what I plan on bringing snack wise and why on my trip to Hawaii. All right, so I'm in the kitchen. Again, I'm using the drawstring and then the little zip top, which I think is meant for makeup. So typically when I pack for trips, I always bring pre-made protein shakes because I have my protein coffee every morning. It's how I start my day. It's also how I make sure that I get in my protein first thing in the morning. I can actually control the protein that I'm having by bringing protein shakes. So I'm going to pack enough for my trip. So I'll need five protein shakes because I won't have time to grab a protein coffee before I go to the airport on Thursday. So I'm going to bring protein powder that I'll be able to mix into a coffee to still get in my protein and just utilize the powder instead. So I'm going to pack five pre-made protein shakes. I'm also going to pack enough protein bars to have one every day because again, I can control that as a snack and make sure again, I'm getting in my protein and then fill in all the gaps with the rest of my meals and snacks throughout the day. So in the drawstring bag is where I'm going to put my protein shake. So I have, I always have a million different varieties on hand. So I'm bringing out cookies and cream, a cinnamon roll, a Quest salted caramel, a Premier caramel, and a Premier pumpkin. So I have my five protein shake. Pure protein, I have a Misfits bar, and then I have a Monk Pack bar. Oh, this is more of like a granola bar than a protein bar. So let me go, so I want to make sure that I have a protein bar for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday, the day I fly down. So I actually need seven protein bars. So I have seven protein bars, one for every day. So protein wise, I'm gonna have a bar and a shake every day. Those are my two protein supplements. And that will again, ensure that I'm getting in my protein during the day. And then for snacks, I like to pack a variety. So our plan is the first day that we get there. So Saturday morning, we're actually taking a snorkeling trip. But before we go, we're gonna hit up a local grocery store so that we can get food. So we buy everything we need for breakfast so we can eat breakfast at our hotel. It saves money. And again, we can control our breakfast. So I'll be buying a lot of protein packed things like cottage cheese, yogurt, fruit. Those are all things that I bought last year. Food is very expensive in Hawaii. So I wanted to bring some snacks that I could not only eat on the plane, 
mean, it's going to be a very, very long travel day for me, but snacks that I can have throughout the week that I'm in Hawaii. So I just don't have to spend as much money at the Hawaiian grocery store. So some of the snacks that I'm going to bring are the skinny dipped almonds, pumpkin spice. I bought those soft, juicy mango. So I always like to bring a dried fruit or a fruit snack. I think I'm even going to bring out a pack of my Soli fruit snacks just so that I have the option for a fruit. And then I do have one little pack left of the cashews, uh, the 100 calorie pack. So I'm going to throw that in there. I am also going to pack this little pack of peanuts and pistachio. So nuts are a really great snack to bring on the plane are a really great snack to bring for travel because they don't have to be refrigerated. I'm also going to pack a huge handful of my little mini meat sticks from Archer Farm. I am going to pack a few of my little Chalk XO little chocolate squares. These are great for after a meal if you're craving something sweet because they're portion controlled, so I'm going to bring a handful of those. I always bring some ginger chews with me. I usually chew one of these after a meal, which actually really helps with digestion. Uh, Starburst little singles for my water. I'm bringing one Clean Simple Eats protein single serve pack. I do have a discount for Clean Simple Eats. I'll link it down below for you. This is for Thursday when I fly home. Since I won't have time to get a protein coffee, I'll be able to mix this into some hot shots of espresso at the airport and still get in 20 grams of protein. And then I'm going to bring my box of, I've been saving these for this trip specifically. These are the Simple Mills crackers. They're an individual little packet. They're 120 calories a packet and they're pre-portioned out. So I've been saving this box for this trip. And then I'm also going to bring my Simple Mills Sweet Thins chocolate brownie. Again, this is just kind of a sweet, crunchy snack. I thought I'd bring those with me as well. And then with the Simple Mills crackers, what I like to bring is these tuna packs. It's a great way to get in protein. And this is something I eat at the airport a lot for a quick lunch on the go. That if we needed a snack or a lunch before a tour, that these would come in really handy. So I have four pouches left. I have a sweet and spicy, a tuna with lemon and lime, a tuna with lime and basil. Oh, and two sweet and spicies. So I have four tuna packets left. I'm going to bring all of them. And what I like to do is have my tuna packets with my Simple Mills crackers. This is a really good way to get in protein. And these crackers are made with almond flour, so they're low cal, low carb, they're really delicious. So this is a good lunch or protein snack option. Great for travel. And then the last snack I'm going to pack is some freeze-dried fruit. So I'm going to pack both of these freeze-dried fruit options as well. They're convenient. Again, they don't have to be refrigerated and it's just an easy way for me to get in some fruit. So here's everything that I'm packing, just kind of an overview. It looks like a lot, but you have to remember that I'm going to be gone for almost an entire week and I'm all about setting myself up for success. So here is everything that's going into my actual suitcase. So my Simple Mills crackers, we have the little drawstring bag packed with goodies, and then we have the little mini zip top bag. This is where I ended up putting my protein bars as well as my dried fruit. And then this is what's going in my backpack. So this is what will actually be with me on the plane. I have about a 12 hour travel day. I will be getting lunch most likely on my layover in Vegas. I have a five hour layover, but I wanted to make sure I had snacks and had a way to get in my protein. So I am throwing in a pack of my crackers so that I can eat it with tuna. So that'll be a good snack or even a good lunch if I don't find something at the airport. I have my Soli gummies. I have a little chocolate square, a couple meat sticks, some pistachios, a protein bar. That will be my second protein supplement. I will be having protein coffee in the morning and then I'm going to bring my dried fruit and then my Simple Mills cracker. So all of this is going in to my backpack. So those are just some tips, some tricks for when I travel, just to make sure that I have healthy options on hand and I have a way to reach my protein goal. I will tell you most of the time I eat 90% of what I pack. So a lot of this will be gone and with having the protein shakes and stuff out of my suitcase, I mean, this is really heavy. That'll allow for some extra room for souvenirs. So that's another really good way to think about it when you're packing all this stuff is once it's gone, while you eat it and drink it throughout your trip, you'll have room for some extra souvenirs. So my snacks for Hawaii and the airplane are totally packed.
So I'm about to get on my third or fourth coaching call for today. I have a couple more, so I am having a snack, and I've been really craving meat, cheese, and crackers, so here's what I'm having. I have some pepperoni, some light shredded, like not light shredded, light cheddar cheese, and then I have a package of the Simple Mills almond flour cracker. So I'm gonna do a whole meat, cheese, and cracker concoction. So I'll go ahead and put the points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. All right, it's the end of the night. I'm gonna go wash my face, do my skincare, put my pajamas on, and have some dessert. I'm keeping it simple tonight. I was really craving popcorn, so I almost did my Lesser Evil popcorn, and then I realized I was out of my favorite one, which is Himalayan salt. And we do have the butter one, but I'm gonna save that for Troy, especially while I'm gone. So instead, I'm going to do this. This is the Just Air, like air, like air, cinnamon bun popcorn. It reminds me of Pirate's Booty, that same kind of texture, and also like a puffed Cheeto, and the cinnamon bun is so good. It literally tastes like a cinnamon roll. I love it, I love it. It's 100 calories per bag. It's the perfect dessert. Love that it's pre-portioned as well. I would have taken some of these to Hawaii with me, but I feel like I have plenty of snacks packed. And I'll just keep these for home because I do tend to eat these a lot for dessert. So that is my final little meal of the day. Thank you for joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me, seeing what I pack when I travel to stay on track. Don't forget about the stackable organizing drawers. I love them. I'm thinking actually that I may pick up one more set. They're just really nice that you can stack them or use them individually and off of Amazon, it's so convenient. So I'll link everything I shared with you in today's video down below, as well as nutrition coaching links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join my Facebook group and follow me on Instagram so you can come along with me to Hawaii. I hope you're having an amazing week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!